The following is a class on the Bhagavad Gita as it is, second chapter, text number three, given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada, recorded on August 4th, 1973, in London, England. Translation, O son of Pritha, do not yield to this degrading impotence. It does not become you. Give up such petty weakness of heart, and arise, O chastiser of the enemy. Bhagavan, Krishna, is encouraging. Kuddha, Vidaya Dodban. For a Kshatriya to speak like that, no, no, I cannot finish my things, I am giving my own this is weakness, cowardice. Uh, why you are all this nonsense doing? Khutyang Dhiraya This kind of compassion, giving up your duty as a Kshatriya, it is simply weakness of the heart. It has no meaning. Kribbhang Mahasma Dhamma Pathya Nita Especially for you, uh, you are my friend, what people will say? So, give us this weakness of the heart and uttishtha, stand up, take courage. Uh, you just see how Krishna is inducing Arjuna to fight. The people are uh, very much ignorant and they sometimes criticize that Krishna is exciting Arjun. He is very gentleman, non-violent, and Krishna is exciting him to fight. This is called Jaradarshan. Jaradarshan. Uh, Jaradarshan means material vision. Therefore, Shastra says, uh, Atasya Krishna Namadi Namaved Dayam Indriyai. Uh, Sri Krishna Namadi. We become in touch with Krishna by chanting his name. Hare Krishna. That is the beginning of our connection with Krishna. Namadi. The Shastra says, Ata Sri Krishna Nama, the Adi means begin. Uh, <coughs> so we, we have no connection with Krishna. But if you chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra immediately, our first chance to contact Krishna begins. So it has to be practiced. Uh, not that immediately I realize Krishna. That is not. Of course, if one is advanced, it is possible immediately. So, Sri Krishna Nam Adi. Nam means name. Sri Krishna is not only name, Adi, that is the beginning, but form, activities. Just like Savanam Kirtanam. The Savanam Kirtanam uh, glorifying or describing about Krishna. So he has got his form. Uh, the Nam means name, and then Rup means form, Nam Rup, Lila means pastime, Gur means quality, Enturate, his associates, all this. Uh, other Sri Krishna Namadi, na bhavet, na bhavet, uh, gayam indre. Uh, by ordinary senses, we cannot understand either Sri Krishna's name. We are hearing uh, our, uh, through the oral reception, Krishna's name, but if we keep our here, without purification, of course, by hearing it will be purified. And we have to help. Help means to avoid the offenses. Uh, 
ten kinds of offenses. In this way, we shall have the purificatory process. Just like if I want to ignite fire, so I must help the igniting process by drying the wood. It will very soon get fire. Similarly, uh, simply chanting, that will help also. It will take time. But if we avoid the offenses, then it will be very quickly purified. The action will be there. So, Atasya Krishna Namadi Navavi Vrayam Indri. So this behavior of Krishna, how ordinary man can understand? Because they have got their ordinary senses. Therefore they mistake. Why Krishna? In Krishna's devotee, Vaishnava, that is also stated, Vaishnavir Kriya Mudra Vigyena Bhujha. In Vaishnava, Acharya, what he is doing, in the most expert, intelligent man cannot understand why he is doing this. Therefore, uh, we should not try to imitate the higher authorities, uh, but we have to follow the order, injunction given by the higher authorities. Uh, it is not possible. Uh, if Krishna is uh, exciting Arjuna to fight, that does not mean we can also do that excite. No. That will be immoral. For Krishna it is not immoral. Whatever he is doing is, God is good, he is all good. We should accept it. Whatever he is doing, ah, that is all good. This is one side. And what I am doing without authority's order, this is all bad. He does not require any order from anyone else. Ishara Parama Krishna. He is the supreme controller. He does not require anyone's destruction. Whatever he does, it is perfect. This is Krishna understanding. And not that I have to study Krishna in my own way. Krishna is not subjected to your examination or your test. He is above all. He is transcendent. Therefore, those who have not the transcendental vision, they misunderstand Krishna. Here he is directly enticing. Klaivangmas magama pasya snaitatta yupa vaddhati suddham vidaya dudballam kapta uttishtha parantapa. Parantapa is this word. Very word is used that you are a chatriya, you are a king, your business is to chastise the mystery mongers. That is your business. You cannot excuse the mystery mongers. Formerly the kings were so. The king himself used to judge. A criminal was brought before the king. And if the king thought it wise, he would take his own sword immediately. That is it. That was the duty of king. Uh, even uh, not may, many, about hundred years ago, in Kashmir, uh, the king, as soon as a thief was caught, he would be brought before the king. And if he is proved that he has a thief, he has stolen, immediately the king will cut off his hands personally, chopped off. Even hundred years ago. So all other thieves warned, this is your punishment. If there was no thieving, there is no stealing, no burglary in Kashmir. If somebody lost something on the road, it will lie down, nobody will touch it. The order was, king's order was, if something is lying down on, on the street, and care for. You cannot touch it. Uh, the man who has left it, he would come, he would collect. You cannot touch it. 
in Hanneri also. So this capital punishment is required. Nowadays the capital punishment is excused. Murderers are not hanged. This is all mistake. Or Raskarla. A murderer must be killed. No mercy. Why a human killer, even an animal killer should be immediately hanged? That is kingdom. The king should be so strict. Uh, so this sympathy is like Arjun sympathy. Uh, the sympathy now in the state is sympathizing with the murderer, not to be killed. Uh, this is Arjun, that is Vidayada Udbhana. That is not duty. One has to discharge duty ordered by the superior authority very strictly, without any concern. So these are weakness of the heart, this kind of sympathy. But ordinary person will not understand. Therefore to understand Krishna, one requires special senses. Special sense, not ordinary sense. Special senses means you have to pluck your eyes and you have to put another eye. No, you have to peel for Tatparatena nirmalam. Just like if you have got some disease in the eyes, you apply medicine. And when it is clear, you can see clearly everything. Similarly, with these blunt senses, we cannot understand what is Krishna. Sivan mukhi hi jivhado swami vas puratada. As Sri Krishna's namado, Krishna's name, form, quality, etc., is not understood by these blunt senses. So, how it is to be done? The Sivan mukhi hi jivhado. Again, jivhado. Beginning from the tongue. Uh, controlling the tongue. Uh, just see, it is uh, something peculiar that you have to understand Krishna by controlling the tongue. Uh, this is something wonderful. How is that? I have to control my tongue to understand Krishna. Uh, but it is a sharper injunction is there. Sivana Mukhi Hi Jivhavu. Jiva means tongue. So, <clears throat> in order to see Krishna, in order to understand Krishna, the first business is to control your tongue. Therefore, we say, don't take meat, uh, don't take liquor, uh, because it is controlling the tongue. The tongue is the uh, most uh, strong enemy as sense, as perverted sense. Uh, and these rascals, they say, no, you can eat whatever you like. It has nothing to do with religion. Uh, but Vedic Shastra says, you rascal, first of all, control your tongue. Then you can understand what is God. Uh, so this is called Vedic Indian. Perfect. If you control your tongue, then you control your Belly, then you control your genital. Rupa Goswami gives in his text, Vāca vīgam, krūda vīgam, udara upaskha vīgam, manaso vīgam, hītāna vīgāna javisaita dhīra, ca prisirīṁ sa siṣyāt. This is in his text, that anyone who has become competent to control the tongue, to control the mind, to control the anger, uh, to control the belly and control the genital. If six kind of control is there, he is fit for becoming spiritual master. He can make disciples all over the world. And if you cannot control your tongue, if you control your anger, control your mental concoction, and how you can become uh, even spiritual master. That is not possible. Prithivinsa-sīśya, one or the that is called Goswami. 
Goswami or Sang, master of the senses, master of controlling these six kinds. The beginning is the jiva. Sevan mukehi jiva do sayameva suratala seva. The tongue can be engaged in the service of the Lord. How? You chant Hare Krishna, all is glorified. Bhachansi vaikuntha punanu varnani. Bhachansi means talking. Talking is the business of tongue and tasting is the business of tongue. So you engage the tongue in the service of the Lord by glorifying. Whenever you take a vow that whenever I shall speak, I shall simply speak glorifying Krishna, nothing more. That is tongue control. If you don't allow your tongue to speak anything nonsense, grammo katha, we sometimes sit together, we talk so many nonsense. And that should be controlled. Now I have engaged my tongue for the service of the Lord, so we shall not talk anything of sense that is. This is controlling. I cannot eat anything which is not offered to Krishna. This is controlling the tongue. So these are small techniques, but it has got great, great value so that Krishna will be pleased, the austerity, and will reveal. You cannot understand, you cannot see Krishna, you cannot order Krishna. Uh, Krishna, please come dancing with flute, I shall see you. This is order. Uh, Krishna is not uh, subjected to your order. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu gives us an instruction. Everyone wants to see Krishna devotee. But if pure devotee says that, no, if you don't like to see me, that's all right. You can break my heart. I may always pray to see you. But you do not come and break my heart. That is also accepted. Still I shall worship you. This is pure devotion. Not that I have asked Krishna to come before me dancing. He did not come. Why? You have this not. Krishna consciousness movement is no value. Not like that. This is Radharani's attitude. So Krishna left Vrindavan. All the gopis, the path that they simply crying for Krishna, but never condemn Krishna. Whenever somebody came, Krishna also was thinking of them because gopis are the greatest devotees, topmost devotees. There is no comparison with the devotion of the gopis. Therefore Krishna was always obliged to them. Krishna said to the gopis that you have to be satisfied with your own business. I cannot return you anything for your love. Krishna, the Supreme, the all-powerful, he was unable to repay the debts for the gopis. The gopis uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu said, Ramma Kasi Dupasana Brajabadhu Varga There is no more bitter worship than what was conceived by the gopis. So gopis are the topmost gopis. And among the gopis, Srimati Radharani is the topmost. Therefore, Srimati Radharani is greater than Krishna. Uh, so this is uh, Gauriya Vaishnava philosophy, uh, it, it requires time. Mm. So the activities of Krishna, the rascal, if they simply see that Krishna is uh, enticing Arjun to fight, therefore Krishna is immoral. Uh, that is means wrong vision. You have to see Krishna uh, with separate eyes. Uh, therefore Krishna says in the Bhagavad Gita, Janma karma me dibbhaucha. Dibbhaucha. 
these transcendental activities of Krishna, if only one can understand, simply, if only one can understand, uh, then he becomes liberated immediately. Liberated. Not liberated ordinary liberation, but uh, for going back to home, back to God. Takta deham punar janva naiti maamiti kaun. The greatest liberation. There are different types of liberation also. Sajujya sarupa sasti salaka saju. Five kinds of liberation. The sajujya means to march into the existence. Brahma, Brahma law. Uh, that is also liberation. The mayavadis or the gani sampradaya, they want to merge into the existence, Brahma existence. That is also mukti. That is called sadhujya mukti. But for a devotee, this sadhujya mukti is just like hell. Koi vallam narakayate. So for Vishnu, koi vallam. So monism, to merge into the existence of the Supreme, is compared with hell. Koi vallam narakayate. Pidasa pura apasa puspayate. And the kurmis, ganis, are anxious to merge into the existence of the uh, Brahma effulgence. And the kurmis, their highest stand is how to be elevated in the higher planetary system, sargulo, where Lord Indra is there. Or Brahma is there. That is Kurmi's uh, ambition. Uh, to go to the heaven. Uh, they all extend Vaishnava philosophy in all other literature, all other scripture, means Christian or Mahavadana. Their aim is how to be elevated to the heaven. So heaven is described in the Vedic literature as Tidasapura. Tidasapura. Tidasapura means there are thirty-three uh, millions of demigods and they have got their separate planets. This is called Tidasapura. Uh, three means three and dos means uh, ten. Uh, thirty-three or thirty. Anyway, Tidasa pura akasa puspayate. Akasa puspa means something imaginary. Something imaginary. A flower in the sky. The flower should be in the garden. But if somebody imagines the flower in the sky, it is something imaginary. So, for a devotee, this heavenly promotion to the heavenly planet is just like a flower in the sky. Tidasapura apasa puspaya koivalnam narakaya gani and kurmi and duddanta indra kala sarpapata li kathata danastayate. Then yogi, yogi is a trying, yogi means yoga indra danga, controlling the senses. That is yoga practice. Our senses are very strong. Just like we also, Vaishnava, we first of all try to control the tongue. The yogi is also, they try to control the senses, not only tongue, but all other ten kinds of senses uh, by that uh, yogic mystic process. So, that, why they are trying to control? Because the senses are just like serpents. Uh, the serpent, just like touch anywhere, Immediately something, up to death. Injury there must be, up to death. Uh, this is exemplified, uh, just our sex impulse. Uh, as soon as there is illicit sex, there is so many difficulties. Uh, of course, nowadays it is all become very easy. Uh, formerly it was very difficult, especially in India. Uh, Therefore, a young girl was always protected uh, because if he, if she mixes with the boy, uh, somehow or other, as soon as they sex, she becomes pregnant. Uh, and it will be no more possible to get her married. 
no. Touched by the serpent. Uh, this is Vedic civilization, is when speak. Because the whole aim was how to go back to home, back to God. Not sense gratification. Uh, it being very enjoyed. That is not the aim of human life. So everything everything was planned with that aim. Uh, Vishnu Aradhati, Varnasama Charvata, Purusena Parupama, Vishnu Aradhati. Nanatattu Sukaranam. Uh, Varnasam this Brahman Chatri Vaishya. Everyone had to strictly follow the rules and regulations of the particular division. The Brahmana must act as a Brahman. The Chatriya must realize it. That's Krishna says. You are Chatriya. You are why you are talking of this rascal? You must. Nanita Yuba Vardate in two ways. You should not do this. As a khatriya, you should not do this. And as my friend, you should not do this. This is your weakness. Uh, so this is Vedic civilization. Fight for the khatriya. A brahman is not going to fight. Uh, brahman is sattva samadama. He is practicing how to become truthful, how to become clean, how to control the senses, how to control the mind, how to become simple, how to become full and cognizant of the daily literature, how to apply practically in life, how to become firmly fixed up in conviction. These are brahmanas. Similarly, Kshatriya is fighting. That is necessary. Vaishya, Kishi Guru, Kshabhanitya. So, so all these strictly to be followed. Just yesterday we are reading when Manu, Vaivasyata Manu, uh, came to court Dhammani, he is receiving, uh, said, I know that your touring means you are just, uh, what is called, uh, what is called examining? Uh, inexpecting, yes. Inexpecting. Your touring means inspection whether the varnasam, whether the brāhmaṇa is doing actually as brāhmaṇa, kṣatriya is doing actually kṣatriya. That is king's touring. King's touring is not a pleasure touring. At the expense of the state, go somewhere and come back. No. Uh, he was sometimes in disguise, the king used to see whether this varnasam uh, dharma is being maintained, properly being observed. Uh, whether uh, somebody is uh, simply wasting time like hippies, no, that cannot be done. Uh, uh, that cannot be done. Now, in, in your government there is some inspection that nobody is employed, but unemployed. But uh, so many things are not practically inspected. But it is the duty of the government uh, to see everything but not so much Aravata. Everything is practicing as Brahman simply by falsely becoming Brahman or falsely becoming Satya. No. You must. So this was the uh, king's duty, government's duty. Now everything is topsy heavy. Uh, everything is no more practical value. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu say, Kalo. Harinama, 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 you are free alone. Kalo, Nasti, Nasti, who got it on the side. It is very difficult to take us back to the original process of civilization. So, for a Vishnu, as I was explaining, the Tidasa Pura, Kasa Puspayate, Duddhanti, Hindu, Kala Sattva Patali. So, controlling the sense, uh, that is Duddhanti. Duddhanta means forceful. It is very, very difficult to control the senses. Uh, therefore, the yoga process, mystic yoga process, just to un, uh, practice how to control the senses. Uh, but for a devotee, uh, they, they, that's like the tongue, if it is engaged only in the business of chanting Hare Krishna mantra and eating only Krishna prasadam, the whole thing is done. Perfect yogi. Perfect yogi. 
So for a bhakta, there is no trouble with the senses. Because a bhakta knows how to engage each and every sense in the service of the Lord. Rishi kena, rishi kesa sivanam, that is bhakti. Rishi means the senses. When the senses are engaged, only for the service of uh, Krishna, Rishi Kesha, then there is no need of practicing yoga. Automatically they are locked up in the service of Krishna. Uh, they have no other engagement. That is the first. Therefore Krishna says, Yoginavati sarvesa madhagata antanātvana sadhyāvān bhajati yoma sami jiptata. A first-class yogi is he who is always thinking of it. Therefore this chanting of Hare Krishna mantra, if we simply chant and hear as a first-class yogi. So these are the process. So Krishna wants to observe that uh, why you are uh, uh, indulging in this weakness of mind. You are under my protection. I am ordering you to fight. Why you are denying? Uh, this is the Thank you.